Good afternoon guys, Bradley Williams with Buckhaven Land Solutions here and uh, today we're going to be doing a video on uh, no-till planting some corn in this uh, one acre field we have on our property. Uh, so I wanted to go over a little bit of the benefits of no-till planting, why we decided to do that instead of conventional tillage and just explain a little bit about this planter and, and why it's beneficial to have. So um, this field was planted last fall in a uh, winter wheat and crimson clover uh, food plot slash cover crop. Um, what we've done here is we've sprayed this field just with regular glyphosate and uh, we waited till after the crimson clover went to seed. So uh, that should help reseed itself this, this coming fall after we harvest this corn. Um, but anyway, talking about this no-till drill, the reason that we decided to go with no-till is it's, uh, it's very beneficial for the soil. When you use conventional tillage and you work that top layer of soil, you expose a lot of the beneficial bacteria and a lot of those uh, microorganisms that help with soil health and plant growth. Uh, so using no-till technology, you preserve a lot of those beneficial organisms. Uh, second of all, this layer of uh, essentially straw that we've created on top of the soil here will decompose and provide a compost into the soil. And also it helps retain a lot more soil moisture than if we had tilled this and had a, a bare seed bed. So that'll help uh, with drought conditions and uh, also just helping that seed have the moisture it needs to get up out of the ground quicker. Uh, how this planter actually works is these, uh, these coulters on the front cut a, uh, a groove through the uh, thatch layer of whatever material is on the ground. And these uh, double disc openers behind it, very similar to a conventional planter, cut a groove for the seed to drop into behind that uh, small furrow that the, the coulters have cut. The seed drops into that groove that the double disc openers uh, have made. And these closers back here come behind it and close over that, uh, that groove, covering the seed, ensuring good seed to soil contact. Uh, these wheels right here are what determine your planting depth. They float along the uh, along the ground, and uh, you set that depth back here with this adjustment. So, with this corn, we're going to be planting at two inches. And um, what we'll do is we'll do a short row, uh, you know, I'd say maybe 50 feet's worth. Come back with a shovel, uh, dig up, see how our planting depth is doing and just ensure that we're, we're getting the, the right seed count and the uh, right planting depth with our planter. Um, so uh, I hope this uh, video will be beneficial and um, you know we'll, we'll do a follow-up here in a few months to show the germination and uh, whether or not we had success with this uh, no-till planting. Okay, before we get started, I wanted to explain a little bit more about how this drill actually works uh, and uh, how we've got it set up. So showing it from the backside. So this ground driven wheel back here is actually what spins the gears that drive the, uh, the planter and that count and set the seed spacing. So one thing you always wanna check before on any planter, no till or a conventional, is you wanna turn this wheel. And as you do, you wanna watch in between the double disc openers and see if it's dropping any seed, which we just saw it drop out of both out of both sides right there. So you want to test that and ensure that it is putting out seed. Uh, another thing you want to check is uh, your planting depth on this one. Each one of these holes, I believe, represents a quarter inch of planting depth. So there's a half or let's see, half inch, one inch inch and a half so it'd be set on two inches right now so that's where we want to be for corn uh, after we do a short row we want to go back and double check that make sure we are achieving that proper depth uh, this lever back here adjusts how hard these closers are pressing in uh, around your seed so um, this soil is relatively soft right now so i've got it set on that first setting uh, if we check our seed and we're not getting good seed to soil contact, we can uh, increase this for more pressure. Uh, I don't know if you can see, 
but the uh, that air compressor up there on top drives two airbags that put down pressure on this planter and that combined with the weight of the machine itself helps you achieve uh, your your planning depth that you're going for and uh, again these wheels down here um, just help counteract that down pressure and dial in your uh, your planning depth Okay, we've got a spot here that's a little more bare dirt, so it's easy to show what we're looking at here. Um, we've had to do some adjustments on this. We finally, I don't know if you can see, but our cutting depth is about right at two inches. Now I know it'll be slightly less on the, on the thicker stuff, so we'll have to adjust from there. But the problem we're having now is our drive tire is not making good contact. So we've got our planning depth right with our coulters and our uh, disc openers. We're gonna have to adjust that set screw right there to uh, lower our drive wheel. Okay, so we got our seed in the ground. The uh, planter worked really well. Uh, this is the first year uh, that I've used this, this John Deere two row planter and I'm, I'm happy with it. We had to do some adjustments. Um, we had to adjust the pressure in the airbags to uh, get more downforce on the coulters. Um, and we had to adjust the ride height of the drive wheel back here to, to make sure it was getting good contact with the ground to uh, set our seed spacing where we needed to be. Uh, and we had to move our uh, closing pressure to the second setting to uh, get good closure. But um, looking at the uh, the wear on the double disc openers, it's right about that two inch mark. Um, same thing on the, uh, the coulter. So um, checking the seeds also, I think we got right at where we needed to be on planting depth. Uh, we weighed, I didn't get this on video, but we weighed the seed before we put it in the planter and we weighed after to see how many pounds uh, we were planting and uh, came out to about right at 20 pounds per acre, uh, which with this particular variety of corn seed, there's about 78, 75 to 78 seeds per ounce. So doing the math, we ended up planting about right at 24,000 seeds per acre. Uh, for corn, I'd like to be a little bit higher than that, around the, the 30,000 mark, but uh, that's that's fine. That's still within acceptable limits to be at 24,000. If we wanted to change that, our uh, our seed spacing is set at 30 inch rows with this planter. Um, I mean, that could be adjusted, but it's, it's relatively difficult to do. Um, the easiest thing to do if we want to increase our seed count is adjust the gearing ratio inside of this planter to make the seeds closer together. I believe what we saw out there, they're about eight to 10 inches apart. We could reduce that maybe down to about six inches and uh, up the uh, the amount of seed per acre a little bit. So we, we may tinker with that. Uh, I, I wanted to plant my field out here as a, as a test 
uh, with this particular planter before we go out and do it on our uh, customer's properties. So um, we might do a little bit of adjusting on this, but overall, I think this is a, a great uh, piece of machinery. Uh, if you want any no-till planting done on your property, we'd be happy to do it for you. Um, this particular planter is way better at putting corn, soybeans, uh, peas, those kind of things in the ground than a, than a grain drill. Uh, a grain drill will, but that's more designed for smaller seeds, your clover, your wheat, uh, brassicas, those kind of things. So uh, for doing the larger seed for warm season food plots, I think this, this particular piece of equipment is the way to go. It, uh, it saves us time. Uh, conventional tillage, you're, you're having to do several passes on the field. You got to spray, then you got to do your disking, then you got to, you know, do a, another disc pass or cult pack to get your seed bed where you want it. And then you got to plant. Uh, whereas this right here, I mean, we did one pass on the field to spray and then a, uh, another pass with the planter and, and our seeds in the ground.